Now, in, in this book, one of the unusual things that uh, may make some people's eyebrows rise is the discussion of mediums. Uh, Leslie seems to treat them with great respect, despite saying that 90% of them are frauds. Um, he says, the little Therese of Lesu was also a high medium, in quotes. Um, I'm going to read a little passage here uh, on uh, Sean Leslie's, uh, what he means by medium. He says, a, a medium in its simplest sense is a bridge, a connection, an invisible passage or influence between the unseen and the seen, between minds disembodied and minds still in the body. The Holy Scripture can be a medium between God and man. Likewise, every true prophet and every saint, though the gifts which blessed and unhallowed mediums share do not necess necessarily appear in every saint's existence, it is difficult to think of prophets who do not possess the mediumistic gift of foretelling the future. Even the witch of Endor, through the means of her control, caused Samuel to relate the immediate future with agonizing accuracy. So, do you, do you agree with uh, Leslie's position on mediums and, and what they are? Well, I, I mean, again, it's a question of semantics, a question of language. Uh, most, for most people, I mean, obviously his definition of medium is not one most of us are familiar with. Yeah, my, what I, I regard as medium is like Whoopi Goldberg from the movie Ghost. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is certainly the, the common today, is certainly the common yeah. view of what a medium is. It's like a trance medium, a spiritualist medium, the, the uh, a ringleader of a seance. And that's how most people think of medium. Yeah. But of course, in the sense that he is defining it, yeah. So, mm. But this is why, ladies and gentlemen, Words are so important, and you can't always be sure that you mean the same thing by them that someone else does. Because if you meant by our normal everyday way of saying medium, that St. Therese was a medium, you know, that's not true. Yeah. If you mean it in the sense that Sashan means it, it is. Similarly, the sacraments and magic. You know, if you look at every, the everyday idea of ceremonial magic as uh, uh, magicians or, or Wiccans, uh, doing spells and all that, and to say that the sacraments are magic sounds like absolute blasphemy and sacrilege. However, if by magic you mean what the uh, medievals meant by it, the accomplishment of ends out of all proportion of the uh, means used, uh, then it's the highest magic there is. So much depends on the definition that you attach to words. Um, same with symbols. That's why, you know, the eye and the pyramid that today we take as a Masonic symbol yeah. was originally a perfectly useful and true Catholic symbol for the Trinity. Wow. Which is why Father Sarah had the eye and the uh, triangle on so many of his chasubles that you'll see around California in the museums. When I bring out of town as out of staters to see them and they see the eye and the pyramid on the back of Father Sarah's chasuble, they're like... Oh my God, what's that there for? <laughs> He's Illuminati. <laughs> well, I, what I was telling is, you see, California was a Masonic plot from the very beginning. Uh, and this is why, ladies and gentlemen, um, and this is an aside, when yeah. you're going to any of these areas, when someone, when you see a symbol and someone using it, or you hear a word used, and your initial response is shock and horror, before you let yourself go completely irrational, Try to figure out if that person assigned the same meaning to the word or the symbol that you do. Because it may not. If he doesn't, then you're getting all upset over nothing and possibly losing the ability to learn something, which would make you very modern. I mean, that, that's good. You know, you'd be in, in, in fashion anyway. But uh, it probably wouldn't help you very much in terms of objective reality, much as we had to sh hate to shed reality on any issue. Let alone this area. It's too much like hard work, Charles. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> what else we got? 